Hi there. My name is North, and welcome to Pathway. This is a... I still don't know what the fucking game is. I've played three days of it, and I can't even explain it. I'm losing my mind. Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is North, and welcome to Pathway. This is a pixelated... God dang it. Pixelated... Turn-based strategy, XCOM-esque type game. I know XCOM is probably not the first one to do this, but it's one of those types of games. If you love XCOM, you'll love this game. But anyways, this is a pixelated turn-based strategy developed by Robotality and published by Chucklefish. I saw this game on Steam whenever I looked at indie games, and you know what? I'm actually wanting to start playing a lot more indie games because, you know, I love helping people out and if I can give a little bit of feedback to any of the producers of these games, I would be happy to do so. So anyways, yes, let's go ahead and play Pathway. I'll explain a little bit as I go. If I don't explain it as clearly, I apologize. I'm the worst at doing it. <sighs> I've tried to do this two days in a row and every single session has just been utter garbage. So anyways, here I am back with Pathway. Let's go. So as you can see, I've already played this a bit. This game is tough. And you know, I was like, yo, maybe I'm just making it, you know, not as difficult. Or I'm making it more difficult than it needs to be. And you know what? I think I'm wrong. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and choose not new adventure. Because I think we already have some messed up people. Wait, hold on. Cancel. North. Okay, confirm. New profile. We're gonna go gone north. Confirm. We're gonna go ahead and hit new adventure, and I'll explain as I go. So anyways, you can look at the ledger, but I've already done that. Do I remember everything from there? No. Here are the adventures. You have a friend in need, the wrath of God, knight of the black pharaoh, scary, dreams of the desert sand, not as scary, the final frontier really like wrath of god that's pretty terrifying knight of the black pharaoh like you know pharaohs haven't been around for a while so it's kind of like you know if there's yeah just no bueno anyways we're gonna play a friend in need where we gotta go save our friend mr morton who has been taken by the germans to be executed so let's go or los gates so anyways you get your characters here I'm gonna do a very brief overview of what the game is uh, not a really in-depth one because my mind would destroy itself but we have Jackson Sheffield here as the American Globetrotter probably me if I was in the past life or I could have been Baron Von B so we've got these people Jackson Natalia Baron this guy's name Miguel and Omar so I played a lot as Jackson you also have Natalia, who is a healer. Then you have Baron von B, who is a sniper, and also German, who does not fight very well against Germans, the Nazis. Uh, then you have Captain here, with fewer upgrades and a shotgun expert. You got Mr. Blow Everything Up, and then also a flexible weapon specialist. Any fears of the undead? I think we all do so anyways we're gonna start out with Jackson so we're gonna recruit you and then we're gonna go with Natalia because if I get injured I don't want to die simple as that every time you start a new adventure you'll see what you got in the last adventure whether you died or not uh, and the Jeep will have its storage here you got your guns you got your secondary you got your armor and then you got your skills over here, which she has pistol, she can't use assault rifles, sniper rifles, shotguns, but Mr. Jackson here can use assault rifle and knife, which he does indeed have an assault rifle and knife, how convenient. Then we have Baron, who has a sniper, it's pretty cool, I wish I could do sniping, maybe I should take him instead. Uh, but yeah, they all have their different skills, and they also have their different little perks, Trickster, Greedy, and Qualms. What does qualms mean? I'm assuming qualms is just like... He has a problem... Yeah, he has a problem killing Nazis. Or doing damage to his, you know... Fellow Germans. 
So anyways, they all have their little specials that gives you little somethings. So for her, for Natalia, medical expert engineer. So she can choose those options in the dialogue and go down those paths. So if there's a sick camel, by the way, you can heal the sick camel. We reap the benefits, you know, by saving an animal. Is this a priest, by the way? I didn't even see that. Looks like one. Anyways, we're gonna depart. You take a break in a provincial backwater a few miles beyond Casablanca. This is the last outpost of civilization. Beyond this point is nothing but merciless desert. Morton is out there somewhere we're gonna go find our dude morton which if you look at the map you see this little flag right there we got to go there we got to go through all these little dots without running out of gas or dying so we are leaving from casablanca and we're going to head see so you can rest here which we do not need to do right now because i think it's morning and we'll head this way Towards this little special, special marker. You crumbling walls break the monotony of the desert dunes, presumably the ruins of some shepherd's huts. They were abandoned many years ago. As you go through the game and you go to these little dots, you'll get little tidbits of special things that happen. They're randomly generated as to where they occur. I don't know how many there are and whether there's like a lot, but I'll run into a new one every now and then. A few nomads pitch their camp by a small brackish water hole. They communicate with gestures and exchange polite nods. You soon continue on your journey. You discover some crooked tombstones in the desert sands. A dismal silence blankets this forsaken place. So yeah, continuing on through here so you can always backtrack, go back through where you've been. You can go anywhere you want just as long as you don't run out of fuel. And ammo. Ammo is really just for combat, so nothing really too big to say about that. A few foundation walls are all that remains of the temple complex, half buried in the sand and rocks. Search the area, but apart from a small rock altar, you find nothing of importance. Examining the altar reveals no new information. It must be many years since a living creature set foot in this desolate place. You are seized by a strange restlessness and decide to leave this oppressive place as fast as you can. You have lost sight of the unit of German soldiers who were trailing in the confusing labyrinth of water tunnels as you silently traverse the ancient cisterns, you hear the echo of their boots around you. <laughs> Suddenly screams echo through the tunnels, you hear a few shots, then silence. Warily you continue down tunnels bathed in the unreal light of the strange iridescent flowers that grow on the damp walls. See, I'm, I'm speedrunning this right now. So, here's the thing. I know what happens. And I don't want you guys to figure it out, but anyways, it'll be creepy. So we're gonna go ahead and search the side tunnels. Search at the side tunnels provides no new information. These luminous flowers seem to uh, be all around you. You guess you'll never know what the Germans were doing here. You return to the open air and continue your journey. I don't know what they were doing there, but I just know there was some bad juju in that place. We've got four fuel, so... We gotta do, we gotta make some moves. A lonely desert temple rises from the dunes ahead of you. The entrance is half buried, but you manage to squeeze through. Inside, you find a squad of German soldiers around you. An improvised excavation site. You are spotted immediately, and the enemy soldiers open fire. Oh. We get our first combat, so I'll do my best to explain exactly what the combat system is like in case you haven't played any other turn-based strategy shooter so anyways first off we get to place our dudes or dudettes right in these green spots and we're gonna place them right there then we get our first shots so I can take a shot at this guy and miss completely what the hell Jackson I thought you were the I counted on you what Anyways, we're going to ignore that. Natalia, she's probably going to be able to get the shot. 100%, dude. Step up your game. Natalia's a beast. So anyways, they have their own little perk. So as you saw, you can take a shot using this. You can do a special move right there, which usually takes bravery. Which bravery, I don't know if that comes back, but she's got three of it and he's got three of it. So 
Let's try not to run out. Then you can run up and punch, or in Jackson's case, use the knife. You can walk around, get to another location, relocate, reload, low profile. You can do all these sorts of things. She can heal and use a med kit, and she can sprint, which causes her to run very, very far. But anyways, yes. Let's go ahead to the next turn and not die. Oh boy, what a miss. what a miss gosh they're worse than jackson all set up we're gonna take some shots at these guys really those are bad shots really bad shots so what i'll do is move i don't want to really move but i will so we're gonna walk no we can't go there ah ah wah so Jackson, how much can you hit these people? Take a shot at this guy. He's actually gotten him. She can take a shot. She is literally on fire. I mean, she's not literally on fire, but you know, she got a shot on him. So now we can run if we want to, which I think will stay. So sadly in this game, you must make some sacrifices. And in this game, you have to make a moral sacrifice in attacking a dog. These German Shepherds, however cute puppos they are, they must be put down. So I will probably be cutting around any puppo shooting that goes on. You're welcome. Jackson literally misses again. Wow. Oh, that's all on you, Jackson. That's all on you. You didn't get the shots. You didn't take the shots. So what we're going to do is we're going to move up. Ballsy move by Jackson, but you know, we're going to take a knife straight to that guy. And Natalia, we're going to need you to, uh, need you to book it. Like, right here. And then take a shot at this guy. Wow! Wow! 38% and she gets the shot. I'm pretty sure this guy's dead next round, but Jesus. And there it is. We win the match. Really, Jackson, underperforming buds, and Natalia keeping the team together. Wow. We're gonna reload all our weapons. It took four minutes for that. And we're gonna continue on our way. Now, after every single engagement, you get these little bits of loot crates. Depending on, uh, you know, it's randomly generated. So we get a tarnished knife, we get an ammo box, and then also another ammo box. So we are going to hit done, and we can continue. So we can go on to this interesting point. Let's go to this interesting location. And then after that, that will be it for the episode. You reach a water hole surrounded by palm trees and some dry scrub. Apart from a few old hoof prints, you see no further signs of activity. The cloudy water smells stale, but that was to be expected. This would be a suitable place for a break. Do you want to camp here? Yes, we will camp. All right, well, we've been replenished for everything. We're almost out of fuel. Don't remind me, Natalia. And with that, that will conclude this little look at Pathway. I most likely will be continuing to play it because it's such an interesting game. I really enjoy it. It's really difficult too, and I like things that just make my life difficult. But anyways, that'll do it for the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Go check this out. It's a really cool game, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.